If you're like most people, you thought it's a tiger, and you didn't even notice the plants in the picture. Now, what's wrong with this quote from the Game of Thrones? A cold wind blew from the north, and the trees rustled as if they were alive. <laughs> we actually forget that plants are, in fact, alive. And it starts early. Imagine showing a picture like this to a young child. You would point out the animals. Look at the dragonfly. That's a toucan. What does the frog say? And then you'd stop. You wouldn't point out any of the plants. So we are actually learning very early not to notice plants. Well, today that changes. We are going to notice plants, we're going to celebrate plants, and we're going to marvel at what they know, even though they don't have complex brains like ours. Plants know danger, or I should say they can smell danger. When a plant is eaten or damaged or sick, it releases chemicals into the air. Other plants sense this, and they ramp up their defense chemicals in response. Plants know their neighbors. Scientists have discovered the wood wide web. This is an underground network of fungi that connect tree roots together. And older trees can actually send sugars and nutrients to younger trees through the fungal threads. So mother trees can actually support their offspring. Plants also know bees. Plants will actually ramp up the sweetness of their nectar in response to the sounds of bees. This graph is showing a plant that was kept in silence, a plant that was played a random sound, a plant that was played a fake bee sound, and a plant that was played a real bee sound. You can see that plants that herd bees have higher levels of sugar in their nectar than plants that were played other sounds. So plants can actually hear. But how does that work? It turns out that the flower petals actually act as the plant's ears. In this study, plants were kept in a soundproof box, and they didn't respond to the sound of the bees. But the plants that were out in the open did respond, and their petals actually vibrated at the frequency of the bee wings. So plants are actually sensing sound. The indigenous author and scientist Robin Wall Kimmerer calls plants our oldest teachers. So I urge you to notice plants, to respect plants, and to learn from plants, because they know more than you think. Thank you.